A new trial coming soon for the El Paso man convicted of shooting and killing a former local radio DJ. Richard Madrigal, former KLAQ DJ, was found murdered in his apartment. Oh my God, please hurry. I think my, dead, my friend is dead. This video contains the interview of a man who may have confessed to murder in order to protect his girlfriend. 33-year-old Rick Mardi Gras Madrigal was in the prime of his life. He excelled at his job as the sales manager for the city of El Paso's tourism office, and he was a favorite DJ for a local radio station. Madrigal had a young daughter who adored him, and he was also set to graduate from the University of Texas. He was excited about what the future held for him, and he was even thinking he might have found someone to share that future with him, even if she was still currently married. Marinda Palacios was unhappy with her marriage, and during a separation from her husband, she began to see other men which continued even when they got back together. In addition to Madrigal, she was also in a relationship with Lionel Hernandez, who she asked to pick her up from Madrigal's apartment to take her to her daughter's graduation. Isis Loizoya was getting ready for her graduation when she received a text from her mother, Marinda Palacios. As she read the message, Loizoya grew apprehensive. Palacios told it she thought Hernandez had killed Madrigal. Loizoya did not know Hernandez very well, and did not realize that he and her mother were in a relationship. So it was a surprise when Palacio said that Hernandez was motivated by jealousy. She begged her mother to tell the police, but Palacios refused, saying she was afraid. Palacios and Hernandez left the apartment together, and Palacios acted as if nothing had happened. Alexis Dominguez, a longtime friend of Madrigal, became worried when he didn't respond to several of her texts. To ease her mind, she decided to go check on him and used a key to his apartment to let herself in. As soon as she opened the door, she was confronted with Madrigal's lifeless body. Like I told you, I don't know if you remember, my name is David Camacho. All right, I'm a detective at the El Paso Police Department. Okay, okay. And a notebook here is just so I can take accurate notes, and that okay. way I don't forget stuff. And it's, if it's something important, I'll write it down. Okay. okay. But I'll wait for my partner, that way he can introduce himself as well. Okay. Thank you. Did you start it? The coffee? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Are you going to? Uh, you know, I did press the the start button. Oh, okay. okay. But I just wanted to yeah. ask you for the problem. Right? <laughs> All right. Um, right now it is 9.30. Like I told you, my name is David Camacho. And I'm Robert Posada. One of these two six eight nine, and we are here at nine eleven North Rain. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Leo. Leonel Hernandez. How can you spell it for me? L E O N E L. And then Hernandez H E R N A N D E Z. Okay. What's your date of birth? Do you know your social? Um, yeah. What is your telephone number? Is that a landline or is that a cell phone? That's a cell phone. It's a cell phone? Mm -hmm. With what company? It's uh, Verizon. Verizon. You have pretty good service, huh? Yeah. All right, we're here. We're talking about case one six one six four one one four. Okay. Before I go on, we have to do this with everybody that we speak to. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be reading you um, some items. Let me know if you have a question on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. Any statement may be used against you at trial. Any statement you make may be used as evidence against you at the court. You have the right to have a lawyer present prior to and any question. If you're unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have an appointment, an appointment uh, to advise you prior during any question. You have the right to terminate this interview at any time. 
If you're in, if you are not a United States citizen, you can contact the consulate. Are you in, are you a United States citizen? Yeah. You were born here. Mm-hmm. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. Okay. You were born here in El Paso, or read those when you mix. Okay. How long have you been here in El Paso? My whole life. <laughs> So you were born in Redoso and come back? Yeah, like 30 years, 30, 29. Where'd you go to school at? Uh, Santa Teresa High School. Where do you live in El Paso? Sunday? Or El Paso? I am, I'm living in, in El Paso, but I, I used to live in Sunday. Okay. Yeah, I'm renting. What is your address here? Uh, 945 South Mesa Hills. Hernandez projects confidence, his expression saying that he doesn't believe he has anything to worry about. And similar to Hernandez, scammers and thieves online also believe they have nothing to worry about due to the lack of personal security in the online world. And that's where today's sponsor, Aura, comes in to the rescue. If you've ever stumbled upon your own name or details on an obscure website you didn't even know existed, you're certainly not alone. Data brokers are raking in substantial profits by trading your private information. However, attempting to individually contact and request the removal of your data from these entities can prove to be a daunting and very time-consuming task. This is the perfect time to reevaluate the methods you employ to safeguard both you and your family's online information. And Aura is the perfect solution for exactly that. Aura eliminates your personal information from data brokers and online people search platforms that have the potential to sell your identity to scammers and thieves. Aura also offers a full suite of services, including financial fraud protection, identity theft protection, VPN, antivirus, password manager, spam call protection, and much more. And with Aura's 60-day money-back guarantee, trying it out is truly risk-free. Aura is giving my viewers a full two-week completely free trial by going to aura.com backslash stranger stories so you can try it out for yourself and see just how useful their services are. Let Aura protect your information by starting your 14-day free trial now using my link in the description. Apartment 310. Who lives there with you? Uh, but, um, just me. Okay. Is, is you the only one on the lease too? Mm-hmm. What do you do for a living? Uh, landscape contractor. Landscape contractor? Mm-hmm. Do you have any big contracts or what do you want? You just go uh, across res- the house? It's mostly residential. Okay. Uh, we do commercial also, but more residential. Rocks, grass, what do you do? Everything. Yeah. All our kitchens, all that stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> also do maintenance, ground maintenance, commercial residential. Yeah, okay. Different crews for that. And you and you don't live with anyone. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. What's what's your girlfriend's name? Uh, it's Marinda Palacios. Marinda Palacios. Palacios. Palacios is married and is having affairs with several men. How did you meet her? They're at the apartments. They're at the apartments. Yeah. At the pool? Yeah. What, what, does she live or she was visiting somebody there? No, she lives there. What apartment does she live in? Uh, I don't know the number. Because she recently moved. Okay. But I've never been to her apartment. I can never. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can find out what it is. But... Who does she live there with? Um, well, when I met her, like, she was living by herself with her, I mean, with her son and daughter. Okay. And then her, like I didn't know they were still married, you know, her husband. Okay. He got laid off and then, like he's been here since, I don't know, October, November of last year. Okay. So they changed apartments already, so like I stayed away. Like I just go pick her up, but like far from the apartment, I, I don't. Okay. So you still date her, even though she, yeah. her husband is her now. <laughs> yeah, because well, this is what she tells me that for years they've been like. Oh, okay. 
separated. He just moved back because he lost his job. Yeah. And he's a place to stay. Oh, um, okay. and now, like, it's been like hell. <laughs> really? Why? Because he found out, like, she had a boyfriend. Which is he? Yeah. Okay. I'm always helping her out. Like, go with her whatever she needs. And he doesn't like that. Like, yeah. like he won't provide sometimes just to be, you know, an ass. Because, mm -hmm. no, I'll tell your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And like, it's, it's been on and off. Like, it's... You don't get along with you talk? Do you talk to him? No, not at all. We never met. Like, we just seen each other like driving or no confrontations, nothing no. like that. How's your relationship with Marina? Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. How long have you guys been together? It's gonna be a year in July. A year in July? So like this one. So the relationship is pretty awesome. Yeah. How often we do you get guys... along really well? That's good. How often do you guys hang out every day? Uh, it depends. Like, uh, sometimes we'll hang around, like, in, during the week. She has to do something, like, I'll give her a ride. Then we'll go eat lunch. Sometimes we go out on the weekends. Did you go out this weekend? Um, it was yesterday. I picked her up, and she didn't want to go home. What'd you pick her up from yesterday? Yesterday, today is Sunday. Sunday, June the twelfth. Right. Like I, I saw her on Friday. I took her to her daughter's high school, Coronado High School. Okay. She needed to pay some debt she had there because she was going to graduate. Oh, she graduated today. The daughter. Mm -hmm. What's the daughter's name? Isis. Isis. Okay. So graduated that's... from see high school, Coronado. Oh. High school. So on Saturday you pick her up where? Uh, some apartments. She was with a friend and then um, I was going to head back to my apartment and she's like, I don't want to go to her apartment because I guess because her husband is always stalking her. Oh, okay. So what I did, we went to a hotel. We had a few uh, at the Hyatt by Bassett. We had a few drinks in there and we just spent the night there. And I took her home today. Just you and her? Yeah. Okay. So now let's rewind for Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's rewind Saturday. So Saturday, before you take her to Coronado to pay the debt for ISIS, right? Mm -hmm. Um where where apartments did you pick her up by? Uh some apartments by uh, executive and this one. Okay. Like I don't know the the name right. What do they look like? I don't know. They're not too decent looking. <laughs> okay. So you pick her up there, and well, how do you know where to pick her up? Do you, does she tell you to go to a certain building, a certain spot? Where? Yeah, at uh, her friend's uh, apartment. What's her friend's name? Uh, Rick. I just know him by Rick. Okay. Palacios is the only connection that has ever been found between Hernandez and Madrigal. So Rick's apartment, mm -hmm. and you know how to get there. I know what apartment he lives in, but I, like, I drove and I saw him walking. So towards cool. the, her and, and um, Rick. Okay. Towards the apartment. Okay. Um, and then she grabbed her stuff, and then we took off. Okay. So you saw her and Rick walking towards his apartment? Yeah. Okay. I guess they were coming kind of from the pool. They, oh, okay. She had a bathing suit. Too. And then you waited in the truck? Mm -hmm. Do you drive a truck, oh, a car? Or what I got off, but I was like out there, outside, just waiting for her to get to her clothes. Okay. Do you say hi to them? Do they say hi to yeah. you? What happens? I shook hands with Rick and everything. Okay. And then you wait outside the apartment? Uh -huh. Okay. And what what do you drive? Do you drive a truck, a car, a van? It's what a GMC server. Okay. What year is it? 2016. What color is it? Blue. Extensive cab or single cab? True cab. Okay. So on Saturday, about what time is this? Uh, I can't remember. Like, 
because I, all I know is we got to the hotel like around 9.30. Mm-hmm. So it must be like a something. So you must have picked around 8 something. Mm-hmm. And on Saturday, you take her to Coronado about 8 p.m. to pay Isis's debt. No, it's um, Friday. Well, this is Friday. Okay, so Friday you pick her up. And it's not at 8 p.m. It's, it was before 4, because they were going to close at 4. Okay. So I took her like around 3, 3 something. Okay, so now I'm confusing. So let's clear it up. And that's on what Friday, I'm taking don't mess it up. Okay. Friday, I took her to Coronado High School mm-hmm. at 3 something, okay. close to 4, because she needed to pay some debt. Okay. And we had lunch, and then I took her home. To... South Mesa. Her, yeah, her okay. apartment, yeah. And that was that was the last time you saw her on Friday? Yeah, okay. that was the last time. Saturday? We didn't go out or anything. That was what you, you take her to lunch, she pay Isis's debt at Coronado, mm-hmm. right? And then you drive her basically to your apartments too because you guys live in yeah. the same ones, right? Same ones. And then you don't see her again Friday. No. Saturday, she calls you uh-huh. and tells you, can you pick me up? And then you've been to those apartments before, or you've never been there before? I was there uh, one time. Like it, it was my second time that visit. This was your second time? Okay. So now, <coughs> when you get there... <coughs> that's just excuse me. When, so when you get there, you see her friend Rick, and your girlfriend's name is what? Marinda. Marinda, okay, I'm sorry about that. Marinda. So Mar- you see Rick and Marinda walking to Rick's apartment. Is it an upstairs or downstairs apartment? It's a downstairs. It's a downstairs apartment, okay. So you see them walking. You get off your truck because you're in your GMC truck? Yeah. Okay. And now, you know, she goes... I, I said hi to him and I told my girlfriend to. Okay. And then that's when she's like, I'm going to get my clothes. That's pretty much it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then you you don't go inside the apartment. You wait right there by the door? Oh, it's like, yeah, standing in the door. Well, I kind of walked in a little bit, but like, with the door open. But not to the kitchen, not to the living room, no. nothing, just two no, steps like, in? Because he offered me something to drink, but I didn't, I didn't want anything. Okay. Yeah. Hernandez is hoping to avoid more in-depth questioning by saying that he did not go into the apartment. This is a needless lie, because Palacios has already told the police that both of them went inside. So then, you and, my, and, you and uh, Marinda, right? You guys get in the car and where do you guys go again? To the Hyatt. Okay. Hotel. By Bassett. Okay. Have a couple of drinks there? Yeah. We had some beers and spend the night there. Okay. And then I brought her this morning. No, it's not morning because it was like two. She had the graduation at three. Okay. So. She had the graduation today at 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you so you guys wake we, up and then we, what we time? get there at uh, the apartments at two close to three. You guys were sleep the whole time at the high? Yeah. Okay. We just hang around there. So you guys don't leave. You guys are in the room the whole time. Mm-hmm. What time is check out time there? Uh, twelve. Twelve. So you guys stay past twelve a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then you drive her where? To the apartments. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because she has to go to the graduation. Okay. And then what happens there? And that's when the other cops went to my apartment. I was taking a shower and I, I couldn't get to the door. I just saw him leaving. And then um, I was going to go to my parents. And another cop <coughs> got to me at the lights right there at Sunday Park in um, the shopping center right there. He told me just to go to the mall and park there. And he wanted to ask me some questions. Okay. And then what did he ask you? Uh, he asked me basically uh, like if I've seen Marinda, do I know where she is? Is she okay? And I told her, I told him yes. Like I just dropped her off right now. And you know that cop? Mm, well, he lives in the Escolinas. He mentioned that. Oh, okay. So he, he lives, lives where you live at? Yeah, he okay. lives there. And then another cop got there, I guess, I'm 10 or something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then he asked you the same thing? Yeah. Just, they, all they asked you was, 
Maninda's whereabouts. Mm -hmm. You have to see if you knew where she was at. Right now, what did you tell him? I did kind of lie to him. I just told him, you know what, we were... Like, I picked her up to go shopping. That's what I said. Okay. Because I didn't know, like, I was... Like, why are they asking me this? Right. Like, I just dropped her off. Like, why? Right. <laughs> I was confused. I didn't know what... And, um... I'm also, like, trying not to get involved with her husband. Okay. I guess he was the one that called or something. Okay. That's what he mentioned, something like that. Okay. That his husband was... made the call and... and kind of ex mentioned something about kidnapping, and that, that she was being kidnapped, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I just dropped her off, you know, like, no. Right. Yeah. But even though you knew that you had dropped her off, you lied to the cops and just told her that you were just shopping with her? Yeah. I don't know why. I just, like, I was, like, in shock. Would they say that you were kidnapping her? Is that, is that what? I guess they're assuming that you, I'm involved with that, because I don't, like, know. Like, I just dropped her off. Okay. That's no. something that I guess my husband mentioned. Mm. That she was, I don't know, I guess she called him or and made all this drama. Right. Like, that she was. Palacios had told her husband that she had been kidnapped, which did not make sense. Kidnappers generally do not allow people to make phone calls. Somewhere or something like that. She couldn't explain something like that. Right. And you didn't kidnap her, did you? I don't know. Okay. That's. No, I would never do that. I mean, we're. He has a boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, right? over from, you know, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Did you try calling her or texting her after you, you had lied to the cops for her? Yeah, I told her. What did you tell her? I texted her, like, like cops are looking for you. I told them we went to classes of her. That's what I texted her. Okay. Now what she texted Well, she replied. The cops were there with her, I guess, already. Okay. I heard on the... Did you go to Fossil Fair or no? No, no. No, I didn't. Do you own any guns? I do own some guns, yes. What, which ones do you own? Um, I had a... Um, I actually lost one in the punch shop. <laughs> but I had a XB and a Springfield. Okay. It's a 9. Um, I have a... Um, I had a Glock. It was a 380, I had a Smith & Wesson, a 380, um, a Taurus 9, and like two rifles, small rifles. I just like collecting them. What was your pawn? Uh, I actually lost like three guns. <laughs> the yeah. Which ones did you lose? Because you have the Springfield, Glock, Smith & Wesson. It was the a Springfield, the Glock, and a Taurus. So you still have the Smith and Wesson 380? And that one, I I recently sold it. What would you sell it to? It was this older man at a pawn shop. Cause I had pawned it. I actually have the, the receipt. I pawned it, and then when I went up the pawn shop, like he, he, I guess he saw me. You stopped um, you outside? Yeah, he's like, like, would you be interested in selling your gun? And he saw me like, elderly already. Like, yeah, I was like, how much would you give me? And he's like, I don't know how much they are, can you? but I like the size of your gun, like it's it's not, it's a neat gun. So yeah, I, 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 he gave me 350 for it. How long ago was that? Mm, like three, I want to say like three weeks ago. So that's nothing less than you pawned it, you go take it out. Mm -hmm. As you're walking out the door of the pawn shop, the guy stops you. And says, hey, do you want to sell yeah, it? Yeah, he stopped me at the parking lot. Okay. Like I backed out and then I was going to drive off and he stopped me. Okay. Do you remember his name? Mm, no. I think they, no, he had a weird name. Okay. He had like a, a veteran cap. He was... Right. 
What so, contract um, was this? It was, uh, I think it's called Cash America by Arcraft and Lighten. Okay. So now these weapons you found in 2015? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the only firearms I have right now is the rifles. It's a 17 HMR and a 22. That's pretty much it. No handguns? Oh, no. I lost my own. I don't want to sold it. Okay. Alright. Right now it is do you need some more water? No, oh, okay. Alright. Right now it is nine fifty-five, okay? I'm gonna take a quick break. See the coffee started. Um and you don't need no more water? No. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. The story about Hernandez's gun is hard to believe. It is more likely that he used it himself. Or that he is covering up for Palacios. You sure you don't want some more water? No, I'm good. All right, sorry. That coffee didn't make, man. I pressed the wrong button and it, yeah. yeah, sorry about that. They're cleaning it up. Once it makes, I'll hook you up. Right now it is 10 20 p.m. Okay. What did you say your telephone number was? 740. Six six eight. Seven four zero? Three six six eight. And that's with Verizon, right? Mm -hmm. And is it under your name? Uh yeah. Is that the only line you have under your name? No, I have the lines. Who has all the other lines? Uh well, it's my dad's line and my sister's line. Okay, but they're not under his name, right? They're under yours? They're under mine, yeah. Okay. Do you know why you're here? Uh, just by what the cop told me in the morning, something involving Marina and her husband, that he called for something about kidnapping, but that's, that's all I know about that. Do you think Marina's okay? I hope she is. I mean, you haven't talked to her? She hasn't responded well. I'm pretty sure that well, she hasn't responded to my text. What have you been texting her? The, just the, what I told the cops, and that's it. Well, okay, that was the last time you text her? Yeah, like, no response. Okay. What we're investigating here is a homicide. A homicide? A homicide, yes. With, uh, why, like, what happened? Like, what, what, what kind of homicide? <laughs> like, well, who, with who or what? The, uh, I'm asking you who, who do you, who do you think we're here investigating? I don't know, like, or like, where's Marina? Okay. Well, what's, go ahead. No, like, what's going on? Did she do anything or? It is interesting that Hernandez asks whether or not Palacios has done something rather than being worried that something has happened to her. Why would, why would you say that? I, I don't know, because it's just been weird the way they arrived at me, like how they got to me like, and asked me questions about her. That's why I'm asking, like, why? What's going on? Like I told you, I, we are investigating a homicide, okay? Okay. And from what I'm gathering, yeah. okay, is that you need to be really honest with me and you need to be really truthful mm -hmm. with me, yes. okay? All right? Because from what we're gathering is you're involved. I'm involved? Yes. And that's what I need to make sure that if you are, you are. If you're not, you're not. Okay? Okay. But you look like you look like a person that you've been you've been telling me the truth so far i'm open to anything okay, that I know, like, uh, okay. That I can help now you were telling me that you went to go pick up marinda at rick's apartment yeah 
Did she call you, or did you call her? I like I asked her, where are, where are you doing? Okay. Like I'm a ex. And I even asked her, can I go over? Okay. And she's like, and then she called me, like, yeah, come over. Okay. And then we, like, we didn't even stay there for long, when we decided to leave. Okay. Tell us what happened. Tell me what happened. Tell us what happened at the apartment. At the apartment? Yeah. You went inside and what happened inside? I went inside and and Marina was getting her stuff ready. I was talking to Rick. I... He mentioned something that someone's gonna... Uh, No. Tell us what happened inside the apartment. Between you and Rick. Between me and Rick? Yeah. We were just having a conversation. That's what happened. Okay, what else? Um, Conversation about what? Um, like he's, he offered me a drink, I said no. And I, I told him that uh, Marinda had other plans, she wanted to leave. That's what I told him. And then um, he mentioned something about someone was going to stop by and drop off um, some weed. That's what he said. Okay, that? Like, yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. Like, some, I'm supposed to get some weed right now. That's all we talked about. I was just like saying, like, dude, you're, you're still doing this stuff. <laughs> like, and we're just laughing. And then that's when Marina came out and like, we just took off. That's... Okay, then, <clears throat> let me tell you something. Yes. Okay. You're here for a reason. Okay. We're not here trying to guess what, what you know, what's going on. We're not trying to figure out if you, if you what you did, what you didn't do. We already know. Uh, once you're here, bro, it's because we already talked to several people. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've done we've done our homework already. Mm-hmm. And and just so you know, everybody else is already here. Miranda's here. Her husband's here. Mm-hmm. Her friends here. Okay. So once you once you're here, I mean, it, it's for a reason. I mean, it's not just because I didn't see what he says. No, no. We, there's a reason. Mm-hmm. And we want to hear the reason from you what, why it happened. Okay? We don't want to guess. We don't want to take everybody else's word what, why, why they think it happened. We want to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Okay, things happen for a reason. Mm-hmm. Okay, we want to hear the reason from you. Like what reason? Or the reason what happened last night. Is Rick the person that's... Exactly. I mean, I, I don't know, I just have no words. Like I... The detectives have focused on Hernandez's visit to Madrigal's apartment, so it should come as no surprise about the identity of the victim. I'm being honest, like, why? Well, no, you're not being honest. I'm not. You need to why, be why is that? Why do you think that's me? Like, why? Just because what I have, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, because I have firearms on your room? <coughs> you don't, you're the only one there. You've got text messages. You've got Miranda telling us what happened. Mm-hmm. There's no reason for her to say what happened and make anything up. There's no reason. Why did it happen? We want to hear from you what happened. I mean, I'm telling you, it's why. Like, why are you thinking I did that? Why? Why? Like, who else would do that? I don't know. That's what I don't asking. know. That's what we're asking you. Why? Why did it happen? I mean, there's like, got to be a reason. We, we were there, but we know you. You're not a cold blooded killer. I know that. I know something happened. We all we're human. We're all human. We all do things that sometimes we regret. And I, and I know you don't look like a killer. You're, you're not a bad I'm person. Not. You're not. I know you're not. I'm not a killer. I know. I, I can tell. But. But there's a reason. I mean, there's a reason. Everybody has a reason for for things that happen. I mean, that's what we want to hear. We want to hear the reason. That's it. What happened? I know you didn't go there thinking, "Oh, I'm going to do this tonight." Um, something happened. I mean, what what happened? I for sure, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do that. Like I didn't. You know, whatever happened, I I didn't do anything. What happened? Tell me what happened. We, like he's a person that's that's killed, was killed, or 
I know things happen all the time. Okay, okay. but things happen for a reason. Okay, we we're, we're I don't know. I know there's a reason. There's an explanation, and that's what we want to know. I know it, it. It. I know it wasn't as bad as people say it is. Okay, but we we need to hear the explanation from you. There's got to be an explanation. There's a reason. There's and, no, and you're the only one that knows the reason. I, she told us the reason, but I don't believe it. I want to hear it from you. Which, I mean, there's no reason. There's no. You're here. I mean, this this is this is where you're. Here. We didn't just pull you out of a hat. Your name out of a hat. Um, what happened? Like we had nothing to do near Rick. Something happened. What, what what is it that happened? I I can't tell you what happened because I don't have anything against him. Or, it was my second time I met him. Okay. Like I. I wow. Something like I. Something I would never do that. Something with. You know, we all say that. We all say that, and and things things happen sometimes that we it's out of our control for whatever reason. Uh, but then we regret it. Now I know I know you're not a bad person. I know. I, I mean, do you regret it or not? That's gonna mean a, that means a lot. If you if you're sorry for what happened, then that means a lot. If you're not sorry, well, then that's something different. How can I be sorry about something that I I didn't do? We've been working here too long. We've been here a long time. Look, not, I mean, it's not. I know he didn't. For some reason, he kind of felt jealous about me. Okay. Like I remember the first time I met him, like he was a little jealous. But that's pretty much it. I know that I know about him against me for that. That's the only thing. So what happened? Uh, I don't know. What can I tell you? Like nothing. Well, we know something happened. Because he's dead now. Okay. We know like something happened. He's dead now. You don't know that. You and and we don't know. Is she lying to us? Is she, um, did she shoot him? Did she kill him? I don't know. I don't know if she has any weapons. You were there? Not that you I were there. No, of course. So, look, tell me what like, happened. I, I can't tell you what happened. Like, it's, there's nothing I can... Hernandez gets closer to the truth by saying that jealousy was involved, although he might still be lying about which man experienced the emotion. Like, no, like, no, we can make up a story. <laughs> no, I want you no. to tell me what happened. I have nothing to tell you. If I'm being honest, I have nothing to tell you. Okay, because you tell me that you went over there to pick her up. Uh -huh. Okay? And then you tell me, well, I text her, what are you doing, and can I go hang out? Mm -hmm. Okay? So you go from, can I go hang out, and then, hey, she has other plans and we're leaving? How did that happen? And why did it happen? Because she saw how Rick reacted, like, like he was, like he said hi to me, but like she didn't want, I guess, to have me there. How did he react? Um, kind of, like I said, jealous. Okay. But I got there as well. Did he tell you anything? Did he hit you? Did he push you? What What did he say? No, oh, he didn't say anything. He was just being, you know, like. Very sarcastic, that's it. Okay. Did it make you upset? No. I just I was just there like waiting for Marina to get ready. But you were there okay. to hang out. Yeah, but we ended up she wanted me. That's why When did she tell you that? When we when I got there. He's like, I'm gonna get my stuff so we can get so we can get going. Okay. Yeah. And then what happened? That's I don't know what happened. Like I can't. Well, now, well, now you're admitting that something happened because he got he, he got upset. Okay, that's that's a that's a start. Yeah, okay. I, he got upset, but I 
Like I didn't really, I didn't really care about it. What did he say? What did he do with it? The outcome was what happened. He didn't say much. He was just being like really sarcastic. Like, like he didn't wanna. Like I would ask him something. Give an example. Um. For example, um, like I asked him about, um, like, like what were they doing? She's like, oh, we're at the pool. But you, you got here, man. Like, we have to come back. Like, like he was being like that, you know, mm. like acting jealous. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's pretty much one of the things we said. And then what happened? We left. Me and Marina left. We went to the hotel. Before you left, what happened? Like, that's pretty much it. We like we didn't have no confrontation, no nothing. We didn't have anything. Like, you mean like um, me saying something back to him, and him responding back to no nothing. No arguments, no nothing. People heard, okay? People heard, and then they heard you guys leave. They saw, well, they actually saw you guys leave. Okay, mm -hmm. so something happened while you were in that apartment, okay? You mean not? I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, that's what, that's what, that's what people are telling us. Mm -hmm. That we brought, that we brought her to the office. I told you, man, we already talked to everybody. Sorry. You're the last person we could talk to. Don't let somebody else tell your story. Don't let somebody else tell your story. Mm. That's how I'm telling my story. Okay. You're missing something there. What was it? What happened? Like, what? What do you want to hear? The truth. The truth. That's, I'm telling you the truth. No. I'm sorry, no. I can't. That's, I'm sorry. Sorry, but it's... How much do you care about Marina? I care a lot about her. A lot? Yeah. How much do you think she cares about you? Uh, I don't know. How much would you guess? A lot? She's, a little bit? I, she cares about me, but she has issues going on. So I kind of don't expect as has mentioned the problems between Palacios and her husband, but he doesn't bring up any of the other men she is seeing, either from ignorance or to avoid giving him a reason to appear jealous. You know, 100%. Like, I understand what she's going through. Do you get jealous about that? About what? About her not being here 100% with you? Um, no, not really. Do you think she cares enough about you to cover for you? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Do you think it's been her? It's been like a year knowing her, like not very like. It's not like I'm with her like every day, you know. Do you care enough about her to cover for her? No, I would never cover for her. Do you think she would cover for you? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. No, she doesn't. No. No, of course not. Not for something like this. No, I mean, would you? No. No, no, no. I would never cover for someone. No. I mean, when it's something this serious, she came out and said the truth. Definitely. I would never. Yeah. You know? And that's why you need to say the truth about what happened. I mean, if, if we write the report, <coughs> the way people are telling us, she's telling us and, and the people that hurt, and it doesn't look good for you. Okay? It doesn't. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Then we need to hear from you of what okay. happened so that we can add it in there. What, um... Uh, I mean, this is very important to Dave, you know. This is probably the most important day in your life right now. It's going to determine a lot. I mean, very important. And I already talked to your mom and I told her what's going on. Uh -huh. She's upset, but <clears throat> she says you're a good boy. You're a good son. And I believe her. I mean, you look like a good, good boy. I mean, like I told you, man, it, this, this stuff happens all the time. This is not the first time this happened, and that's not going to be the last time it happens. 
It happens to good people. It happens to bad people. It happens to good people. It happens to everybody. We're all human. We all have feelings. Mm-hmm. And we all make mistakes. But it's what we do after we, we make that mistake. Tell me what happened. Oh, well, he actually threatened me. Okay. What did you uh, tell me? He threatened me to... I don't know if she heard it or not, but she, he threatened me to do something and kill me. Okay. Because he was upset. He was upset because I was there. Yeah. So then what? He was arguing with her. She kept holding him. Don't do it. Like, don't do it. I mean, no, I need, I need to punch something. And... Like he, I heard, I, he threatened me to do something to me. Okay. And he said, I fucking kill this motherfucker. And that's when I got like, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I didn't know what he was gonna pull on me. Right. And when I was in there, like, he ran towards me. And that's what happened. What happened? Like I, I just took two shots. And... Yeah. What happened when you took two shots? He just fell on the ground. And then? That's it. What happened next? He took off. That's it. Did you go through the apartment or anything like that? No, I didn't go through the apartment. I, we just took off. She grabbed her stuff. We took off. Where's the gun? <clears throat> uh, I disposed of it. <laughs> Where? In the desert. Where? We need, we need to find them because if somebody else, if somebody picks it up, the kid picks it up and gets injured, that's two people getting injured. Well, it's like and, and nobody deserves that. I mean, somebody goes out with a kid and the kid grabs it or something and something happens, that's not going to be good. So we need to go find it. Like, I don't know the exact location. I don't know how to tell you the location. How did you get there? Montana, Joe Battle, in the west side? Where? Senator. Senator or something. Okay. What kind of gun was it? That's uh, Smith & Wesson. Was it the gun that you told me that you sold to the veteran? Yeah. Was that a lie? Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you for being honest. Okay. Where's, where's the ammo that you had for that gun? I only had like uh, just the, the um, one um, Magazine? Yeah, one magazine. That's um, all I had. And you got rid of the magazine and the ammo? I only had like two shots left, so yeah. I got rid of the ammo. Where? I just threw it in the desert. Okay. But what, what is that thing that the kids call the wall or something like that? In the, in the, in the desert? Mm-hmm. Is that where you got rid of it? Or is that close to it or where? Close to it. Okay. So if I Google map it, you can give me a road to where the gun is at, mm. more or less? Because a kid can go off-roading there, and yeah, he can get hurt with that. Yeah, can, can, after we get done, can you take us over? We'll take you in the car and we'll go to the desert? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's very important. <clears throat> so now, you're in the apartment, okay? You take two shots. Do you know where, do you know where the two shots went? Um, it goes to the head. Okay, the head. Okay, and then that's so the Smith and Wesson is a semi automatic gun, right? Mm-hmm. So that means when I fire, there's casings that come out, mm-hmm. right? Where are those? Uh, I throw them away. So you pick them up? Yes. Okay. I just throw them away. Where did you throw them away? On our way to the hotel. 
I kind of remember exactly what it is. Hernandez is unable to give the detectives certain simple details that he would know if he was guilty. He may be trying to shield Palacios. In the dumpster? No, just on the road. Okay. Were you on the freeway? Were you on the gateway? Were you... It was on the freeway. Okay. And that gun is under your name? Yeah. Okay. Where was Marinda when this was happening? What happened when? When you take the two shots, where is she at? Where was she standing? In the apartment. What I put the figure inside and live. <clears throat> Next to or behind on the corner of the brick. Cause he like threw her and he ran towards him. That's what happened. What did she say? Uh, what did she say? She, she was like, did you like, really have to do that? I'm like, well, look at him like he was going to attack me. Like, I don't know what he was going to pull on me. Like, and then? And then she's like, we need to leave. And she's like, the the miss goes <clears throat> did y'all clean anything? I know her. Did I clean anything? Or did she clean anything? Either mm -hmm. one of you? I don't know if she cleaned. No. no. I didn't. No. I so, just got my the casings of the bullets and that's it. Where did you have the gun when you went up the In your pocket or where, where where did you have it? I was in my pocket. In your back pocket or your front? I'm going back. How big a gun is it? <coughs> so does it have a safety or? Yeah. Yeah? And you always carry it with you? In my truck. But you were not in your truck, right? Mm, at the apartment? Yeah. Yeah, the GMC. The GMC? Yeah. So you carry it in your truck mm -hmm. and you decided to put it in your back pocket when you're going into Rick's apartment? When he threatened me. Oh, okay. So when the, when he's threatening, you go to your truck to get it? Yeah. Okay. So he threatened? I was going to go get my leader. Like, I was going to get her like, when you leave, and that's when he like, ran towards me. Like. Right. That's what I'm not understanding, and I want it to be clear. Okay? You are you said you are about two feet at the door. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're already in his apartment. No gun on you. Right? No gun. No gun. Gun I, I heard that he was saying stuff he was going to do to me. Right, right. And I'm like, I don't know what he's going to do to me. I go grab my gun just in case because I'm going to come back from Marinda. Right. I don't, I don't know what to expect when I walk into that door. Okay. And that's when he like ran towards me in that night. Right. Because I didn't, I didn't know what he was going to do. Okay. So, there was already an argument between you guys, and you walk to your truck, and then you come back to get Martin, to get Marinda, because mm -hmm. she's still in the apartment getting her stuff, mm -hmm. right? And she's, she's like, like she was um, arguing with him about, and that's when I heard about telling something about me. So that's why you had your gun? Now be honest with me, okay? When you grabbed your gun from the truck, did you already have it in your hand? I, when, when you grabbed it from your truck and you walk into his apartment, did you already have it in your hand? Like walking towards it? Yes. I don't know. No. It's in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's when you take the two shots. Yeah. And the box of ammo that comes with that is all gone? Because it comes in boxes of 25, 50, and 100. Yeah, because I usually would practice rounds. I, I didn't have any more ammo for that. Okay. So whatever was in the gun and whatever you fired is the rest of that box. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. No. It's hard to believe that Madrigal would allow Hernandez to go to his truck and bring back a weapon.
Hernandez can't even be sure how much ammunition he has. His entire story is riddled with weak points. Okay. In your apartment, there's not going to be any more ammo. Uh, no. No, I don't think I have any more. I have other ammo, but not, not the three. Okay. So you shoot them, you pick up the casings, and you guys go. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys go? Did you tell me the truth about that? Yeah, I'll hide it. Okay. And then you guys spent a the night there? Mm -hmm. Did you guys talk about it? Um, yeah, kind of. Is she involved? Did she tell you, did she tell you, do, let's do this? Well, she was like, 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 what are we gonna do? Like, I'm, I'm with you, like, what, what are we doing? But I guess, I'm not. <laughs> so she didn't put you up to this? What do you mean? Beforehand. Beforehand, she didn't say, hey, let's do this. Or can you do this for me? No. No. This was all you. Mm -hmm. And as his admission doesn't ring true, he sounds too hesitant. What, what, what were you wearing? Um, that night? It was um, a blue shirt, jeans like these. What were they? Are they at your house? Or? Yeah. See? And the blue shirt, what is it? Like a t shirt? Or? Yeah, t shirt. What, what does it have in the front? Uh, Express. Express? <laughs> Express little right here, Express big, EXP, or what does it say? Oh, okay. okay. It's blue. What's up with these scratches? All the palm trees. See up there. We're planting. Where is, where is that t shirt at right now in your house? In my apartment? Where, where at? We're going to need to get it. Where is it in the apartment? It's on my bed. On your bed? And the jeans, where are the jeans? They're also in the, somewhere in the... On top of the bed? The t-shirt's on top of the bed? And the jeans are Levi or what, what brand are they? Uh, Express. Express. And the blue jeans? Mm -hmm. Now, the first time you went to, to Rick's house, how long ago was it? It was three months ago, so it was a while back. And then you were just there in the living room? You guys were just hanging out? Or you guys at the pool or where? Living room. Living room? So, and you were there? Did you use the restroom there? At the Ricks? Yeah. When the first time? The first time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in the kitchen, because the there was a party. But this time, you only came to the front and nowhere else? No. No, I just stayed there. I just felt uncomfortable. Right. When did you take the, the gun to some place? Uh, today. Oh, what time? Was mm -hmm. it when the police started looking? Like around 2.30. Oh, 2.30. Oh, that was like 3 something. How do you know it was around that time? How do I know? Okay. <laughs> I thought you may have made a call or somebody had stopped you or you stopped an E and ate. I'm sorry. And it was that time, so you looked at it, and then that's more or less the sign of you in the river. Mm -hmm. Were you by yourself? Or was it? Yeah, I was by myself. Have you told anybody about this? No. No. What do you think should happen? What do you think? What do you think should happen? Um, um, I can't go. <laughs> you, you think you should get arrested or no? Her get arrested? You, you. Do I think I need to get arrested? Yeah. You think you should get arrested? That's the way the law works. <laughs> you think she should get arrested? No. Huh? No. Where did you buy the 380? The gun? Uh, this cruises. Or uh, the gun shop? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Sanitary cell. I mean, uh, those cruises motorsports. As we just more sports. When did you buy? When? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. But you've pawned that gun before, right? Yeah. Okay. That was last year, right? 2015. When I pawned it? Mm hmm. Uh, recently. Pawned it recently. 
Mm, I don't remember the date. Within this year? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, okay. When you carry it in your truck, what do you put in it? On its case. CD case? It's, what is the CD? Uh, like the zipper? Yeah. 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 Was that you said in the truck? No. No? You threw it away already? Yeah, it's with everything. At the, at the desert? See. Did you put it in the case, zip it up, and dispose of it like that, or how? Mm, I, I threw the, the gun in the, the case separate. Okay. Separately. And you just threw it, or did you bury it, or? or? I kind of buried it. Never. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to know exactly where it's at right now, right? I sh what color is it? The gun? It's all black. You already know, you know where it's at? Uh, kind of far. <laughs> That's hard to me. We'll look for it right now. You need some more water? Right now it is... No. 1055. Even though there are several things that don't add up, Hernandez has made a confession. Unfortunately, some detectives will not bother to look into things further once this happens. Want we'll to take another break? Let me try that everything I need and then that way we can start setting up so we can go out there, okay? Leonel Hernandez was convicted of first-degree murder for the death of Rick Madrigal and sentenced to 50 years. However, he appealed his conviction based on the fact that key evidence was left out during the trial. An expert was able to prove that Hernandez was not the one who shot Madrigal, although he was close enough for blood to spatter on his jeans. Based on these new findings, the appeal was granted and Hernandez is currently waiting for a new trial date to be set. And that's the end of today's video. If you liked what you watched and want to support the channel, hit the like button and check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.